Um, when we're talking about nicotine replacement therapy, I, I just want to make a, an observation about the e-cigarette issue. Let me be unequivocal. There is absolutely no question that if you use nicotine as a result of its delivery in a vapor as opposed to its delivery from, a, uh, from smoke, it is infinitely, infinitely safer. And there's just no question that as a harm reduction cigar uh, uh, technique, e-cigarettes or whatever they ultimately will be called um, show unbelievable promise. There are, however, a number of questions. Uh, and these are questions that, that we need to answer and we need to answer quickly because we should not impede the ability to deliver a harm reduction approach uh, because of some bureaucratic inertia that might, that might surround um, the regulation of these products. But there are questions to which there are still, it's still early days. Um, do these actually, does the use promote cessation or does dual use of both e-cigarettes and, and tobacco product, conventional tobacco products continue? Um, we can be assured that the tobacco industry, now that it's acquiring these companies, is not the least bit interested in smoking cessation as the use of these particular products. And, and certainly in jurisdictions where they're still able, they will use all of their tendencies and behaviors from the past to accelerate the marketing and the utilization of these particular products. Uh, so that's something to be considered. Uh, and we also have to be, con to, to be concerned, although the emerging evidence suggests on one hand, on one side of the Atlantic, uh, that there is no increase in non-smokers using these particular uh, devices, whereas there is evidence from this side of the Atlantic that in fact the, the number of adolescents who are non-smokers who have started to use these products has actually significantly increased. So uh, more to come. Um, and I, Chris Bullen's paper in, 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 in Lancet to, at, at, at the end of the year um, is one of the uh, in, one of the few studies that have examined uh, the use of these devices in smoking cessation, more are coming out and we have to follow them very carefully. But certainly their, their results were that these were only modestly effective at helping patients st stop smoking. Um, nonetheless, I think particularly as we change our approaches to smoking cessation and employ reduced to quit kind of strategies and so on, that the use of these devices perhaps in association with other cessation pharmacotherapies offers us opportunities that we haven't quite thought about yet. And, and so there's, there's need to be examining those, uh, those issues in the future.